Hi everybody and welcome to Chelsea Groton Bank's Facebook video. My name is Miria Gray and I'm the Community Education Officer here at Chelsea Groton Bank and we are going to be talking about how to have retirement fun on a fixed income today. Um, and so my first tip is to find out what is going on in your community. So look at newspapers, find community calendars or forums. Um, does your community have a website or a Facebook page? Um, can you check in at the senior center? Does the town hall have options? Look into your local library. Um, a lot of times there are free and fun activities that happen all throughout the year that you just have to um, know about to be able to attend. So things like um, no cover events, um, openings of art galleries or um, music, outdoor music events or movies. Um, all of these types of things happen and um, you just have to know when they're going to happen to be able to take advantage of them. So um, ask around, find out where is the best location to find out all of those things that are happening in your community and in your region. The other thing is to check with the local meetup groups, um, find a group of people that enjoy doing the same things as you do. If, is it going walking? Is it, um, you know, uh, playing board games? Is it um, card nights? Whatever it might be, um, there are meetup groups that talk and do all kinds of different activities um, that you might enjoy joining. Um, and you might meet new friends there that you would not have met otherwise. Another option is to volunteer. So um, having fun doesn't necessarily mean not giving back. Um, I find that uh, giving back is a really fun way that I like to engage myself and um, do in my free time. So um, by volunteering, I get to see a lot of people and do a lot of fun activities and participate in things that normally might cost a lot of money, but because I'm volunteering at that event, yes, I do have to do a little bit of work, um, but I also get to participate and have fun in that also. Plus, I get to give back to my community. Um, and traveling on a budget, there are some tips that maybe um, you might want to think about. One is, um, if, especially if you're retired, um, time is kind of your, um, is your golden egg. You can travel off season, you can travel on season, you can travel when you want. Um, so you're not um, locked into those expensive traveling times that most people have, like normal vacation times and things like that. So um, where would you like to travel that might be um, much cheaper off season? The other thing is um, if you want to be traveling is to start with your budget and not your destination. So if you start with your budget, um, there are lots of budget friendly destinations um, that if you know how much you want to spend, um, you could find the destination to go to rather than starting where you want to go and then having to create um, something that fits into that budget. So rather if you back into it and say, I have this much to spend, um, what kind of great fun thing can I go do that would be this versus um, trying to maybe limit your experiences um, by your budget. Um, the other thing is group trips. Oftentimes those um, bus trips or group trips are often less expensive because you are um, paying for expenses spread out over um, numerous people. Um, also, if you have friends and they like to travel, going in together on hotel rooms and accommodations or eating out to eat, um, those types of things will help save you money. So we hope that you have gotten some helpful hints and tips from, uh, and now you can go out there and have some retirement fun on a fixed income. We will see you next week and have a great day. Bye-bye.